Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, my beautiful pen friends, and welcome, welcome one and all, to another video with your host, Andrew. Uh, so today, I was hoping to get the Narwhal School Kill uh, video done, but unfortunately, due to the fact that the pen has yet to arrive, I can't do that review just as of yet. Fingers crossed the uh, pen should arrive for next week. I've had a look at the tracking information, and it is due for delivery soon. It took about three or four days for it to, to leave Germany uh, for some reason, so not quite sure what's going on there. But anyway, um, enough of that. What we're going to be looking at today is some Diamine Oxblood. So let's roll those titles and we'll find out how this ink works. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as I said, I'd hoped to get this Narwhal screw killed, but unfortunately the actual pen is yet to arrive. It's taking a while to actually come in uh, through Europe and hopefully it'll be here for next week. Anyway, we'll have a look at this uh, Diamine Oxblood today and I thought what with autumn and about and Inktober being a thing on Instagram, uh, it would be quite nice to have another look at some inks. I know we did an ink last week, but hey, what's, what use is a pen without ink, eh? So I've got the ink in a couple of pens today. We've got this in a Santini Libra in Amber. And we've also got it in a Leonardo Opportuna Italiana Memento Zero Grande in Arco Brown. So two really fitting pens to put this in. Right, so if we open up the bottle. It comes in an 80ml glass container. And what's really nice about these diamond bottles is the fact that if I take the cap off, as you can see, we have a really nice wide aperture to put any size and pen in, be it oversized or emperor size. <laughs> so that is an absolutely fantastic uh, consideration from Diamine. Absolutely fantastic. Right, so let's have a look at um, how these pens work with this ink, and then I'll give you my thoughts after the video on, well, this ink. So join me over into a more artistic writing sample today, and we'll see how this actually works out. So let's go on over. Right, I wanted to produce the writing sample a little bit differently today, just to show off the various aspects of the pens which um, I've got, and also to show the ink and the nibs just in a slightly different format to that of what you might find traditionally online. That's not to say that the traditional method's bad, but I do like to try and keep things a little bit more mixed up on this channel. Right, so what do I think objectively about these inks? Well, as you can see, between the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande and the Santini, on the Memento Zero Grande, there is no doubt that it is a lot, a lot darker uh, than the Santini, even under regular uh, writing. Uh, when you start flexing it, there isn't a huge difference, but both of these boxes were done under also 
uh, just regular sort of pressure, so to speak. So yeah, uh, much lighter, but then this I would call almost like an extra fine nib, whereas this is verging on medium. So it's, it's interesting to see how uh, these nibs actually compare to each other. And I may do some more videos based on that in the future about uh, nib sizes and their true meanings. Okay, so that's it really in a nutshell. Uh, both pens work absolutely fantastically with the actual ink in there. They don't skip, they don't hard start. So yeah, it's, it's a well lubricated ink for both pens. Uh, really interesting to see how this um, Diamine Oxblood works in a Japanese nib. Uh, I might try that in the future when I get myself another Japanese pen. I have got it a, a Nakaya, which I might try it in, but I really want to get myself some more Japanese pens as well. So I'll be doing some more ink reviews with Japanese pens in the future. Anyway, back to myself and we will close off the video with my thoughts and opinions of this ink. Right then, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I've got some exciting news for you. We are going to be doing a competition today. Now, I thought I would sneak this in just to make sure that you guys are actually watching to this part of the video. Now, I know a lot of people's retention rates are not that high, but I thought it'd be quite interesting from like a, a social experiment point of view to see how actually retentive people are in terms of watching videos. So, a nice sneaky little competition. I will promote this actually on my Instagram page as well, but, the rules are quite simple actually. All you have to do is either a piece of poetry or a piece of artwork themed around autumn. Okay, now what do you have to theme it around? Well, I say autumn, but it can be just autumnal colours. Okay, so if you want to do just a portrait with reds, yellows, oranges, that's absolutely fantastic. It must be used with the fountain pen ink. And in your description, I need you to tag my account I need you to hashtag PenFriendsUK and also I need you to mention what inks you've used in your drawing or in your piece of poetry. Okay, so that will be running until the 25th of October and so you've got plenty of time to enter. As I say, I will ship the prize internationally so please don't feel that because I'm in the UK it's going to be a UK based competition, it won't. Um, but 25th of October, I will announce the winners, and then within that week, I will then ship out a bottle of Diamine Oxblood or a bottle of Diamine Ancient Copper. I'll be doing one for the poetry competition and one for the drawing competition as well, or painting competition. You can use brushes if you want. Um, there will be some more details also on my Instagram page, so if you want to go and check that out, please do so. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future content on there as well. Right, so that's that out of the way. What do I think of this ink? Well, several months back when I got into uh, watching Adventure Denali, she gave me some wonderful ink uh, recommendations because I do like autumnal colours and this was one of the inks which she recommended. I said I wanted to get something like a claret um, style ink and this is one which she recommended. I absolutely love this ink. It's a nice sort of dark red and I think for sort of letter writing, it would look absolutely fantastic on like a cream paper. It will be really good on Tomroe River, which I have tried, but I don't have enough sheets of that left, unfortunately, to, to show you guys, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So I need to do myself a Tomroe River uh, shipment. Um, any recommendations, guys? Yeah, um, if you've got some paper recommendations, uh, leave that in the description below, and that'd be absolutely fantastic. Uh, if we have a quick look back at this chart, it really is a beautiful ink. It doesn't really shade, but what it is really good at um, doing is giving this sort of really deep, rich colour. And in comparison to maybe Ancient Copper, which is a lot lighter, it is a really nice, harmonious colour. Really, really fantastic. So, that's it in a nutshell. Hopefully next week I will be doing my Narwhal review. And also please uh, look out for those competition details on my Instagram page and in the description below. Till then, stay safe, be well and stay happy. Be good. Bye.